okay, the radius of the tangent times the circumference of the diameter plus the, I ain't got it worked out. Yeah. Hey guys, Captain Eddie here. I've got a lot of requests or questions about my Blackhawk rig and sharpening tools in general. And guys have said, wow, you talk about buying that Delta GR450 grinder, that 8 inch. I already have a 6. My buddies say I shouldn't sharpen on that 6. I need to go get me an 8. Your buddy's trying to sell you an 8 inch grinder. Watch him. Put your hand on your wallet when you're talking to him. I worked it out just now. Put it on black and on, on pencil and paper. What I just worked out and I'll show you this a little closer as we talk. I put a six inch radius and an eight inch, or a six inch wheel and an eight inch wheel on this. Then I laid out the Ellsworth grind mathematics on this from a point that's seven inches out and four inches down. And your buddies are absolutely right. They won't grind alike. I didn't think they would. But I did find out a happy medium to make it work and then I went over to a guy's house and tried it out. What I found was the David Ellsworth math is four inches down, seven inches from the face, and two inches out of the jig. Got that? Okay. That's the jig. That's what we're talking about. How much do you stick out the jig? Well, let's take the six inch wheel. Now this is to get a perfect 55 to 65 degree nose on the front or the angle. I'm all out of hands. I need a third hand kit. The angle of disc grind in relationship to the, to the mouth of the, the, the gouge. And you do this with a protractor. You, you put a protractor on it. This is made by General Tools. You get it at Home Depot. You put a protractor and you measure it right down them out in relationship to the face. Okay? This is what David Ellsworth talks about. The steeper this is, the harder it is to, to make a sweep. The sharper it is, the harder it is to make a sweep. Depends on what you're trying to do. The happy medium is 55 to 65 degrees. And I will, on my website, I do have the brochure with Ellsworth's directions on it from David. All right, we want to get to that 60, 55 to 65 degrees. So guess what? With your six inch grinder, if you just loosen this knob and extend this tip out an additional three eighths of an inch, make a test grind, you get a perfect grind. I, I hate to tell you that your best friend misled you or the guy that was trying to sell you the grinder. But that's what it takes. Adjustment of the grind, of the of the, the jig, can do wonders. And then if you really don't like what it looks like when you get done, move the arm back and forth a little bit. Just make light grinds. Don't grind your heart away to make it done. Just touch and see if you get close. That's how you get a good grind. And by the way, if you don't match David's exactly, don't worry about it. You don't have to match his grind exactly. You want to set your own standard, your own proportions, and make yours every single time to save the life of the tool. And once you're happy with yours, you're happy. So that's it, guys. Now I got it worked out. I got a spare six inch grinder out back, you know, if, you know, if you're interested. I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. I'm going to back to making shavings because this grinding stuff is getting old. Whew. I know I had it. Notebook. I think I want to save these, this drawing.